Hi guys, Derek here. So, I've had an update on the A20. Um, what I've done, it's mostly about the Marlin uh, 2.0.9.1 uh, firmware. I reached out to quite a few groups on Facebook and one of the guys from Facebook called Bruce, he's got a YouTube channel which will be in the link below uh, which is 1Z Radio on YouTube he came back to me and gave me the update that I needed to use or change within the firmware the, in the firmware uh, I did take a look at my board and it's the version 4 board of the series going out but within the Marlin group you need to use the version 3 board within the firmware for that to actually work and to configure properly. The with this let me just with this what we need to do is when the uh, the X wasn't fully home in what that was is uh, there is some sort of uh, interference on the end stop or the uh, motor uh, I can't remember which one it is, but there's some sort of interference and obviously it, it thinks it's homed and it hasn't. Uh, to get round that, what you need to do is I will put a couple of, I'll put a picture up here somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be, it's going to be up here somewhere. And it will show you that um, there is a point in the firmware which is end, uh, where you need to look for end stop underscore noise underscore threshold when you see this you need to enable it so take out a double slash and uh, put the value of 2 there um, as soon as you do that obviously uh, upload the firmware using uh, a Visual Studio or whichever program you use um, upload the firmware and when you home it, it will home absolutely fine. Uh, and you've also got the benefit of using Marlin 2.0 2 rather than 1.1.8. Um, the next video I will do is more likely a bit of an upgrade and uh, a visual on what you need to do to change the stepper drivers within the firmware and obviously what you do on the board. Um, that is just a, another upgrade I'm going to be doing within the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've already got the drivers, which are um, 2209s, I think they are, or 2208s. I can't remember which ones they are. But obviously I will be upgrading these and making it a bit more silent because the, it's using the standard A49 something drivers and they are noisy. So I want to silent it basically and the board will accept them um, and it's just a matter of swapping out the drivers. But anyway, that's uh, going to be another story, another story, another video. Um, it was just an update to, to tell you the issue I was having and how to fix it. So if you'd like to um, obviously follow my steps, just go back and have a quick look. Um, it's the end, it's the uh, end stop underscore noise underscore threshold that you need to find in the firmware and then go to uh, then change the value to two and take out double slash upload the firmware and it just works perfectly okay uh, just a quick update um, if you like this video give us a thumbs up um, if you haven't subscribed the buttons just below just subscribe to me that'd be great show support to the channel and be yourselves See you later. Bye.